Here's something I found by the upright, just outside the mine shaft entrance. 50 caliber slug from a buffalo rifle. First shot was aimed at you. Did you think I was making it up? Well, we got that old shotgun. We ain't got no rifle at all. Well, somebody has. All right. Look, me and Browse have been partners for 10, 12 years. This is our first real pay and claim. Everything was all right at the beginning. Then I caught him salting away dust and nuggets. That's a blasted lie! Stop it! Now, just tell me what this is all about. All right, let me finish telling it. After he lied about me stealing, things got worse and worse. We'd go into Copper City, get liquored up, and start fighting. Then we'd start shooting. What? That's how we got into trouble. We accidentally uh, hit a bartender in the leg. And after that, the circuit judge gave the sheriff an order, making us keep the peace or else. One of us is found dead, the other one gets hung. Well, those town people like to see us strung up. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's very funny, except for one thing. You two have made yourselves a perfect target for murder. Whoever fired that bullet knows that if one of you is killed, the other one is hung. You said so yourselves. The mine will be here just for the taking. You always talk too much, Talbot. Like this afternoon in front of Paladin here. And like this morning. You know, I plumb forgot about them. Now who are you talking about? Old man Martin and his son and daughter-in-law. They come by on the trail this morning. Said they was taking over the old Parker diggings about four miles north of here. They acted mighty suspicious, too. Kept looking around all the time, asking questions about digging gold. Yeah. They even took a look at our sluice. Had a lot to learn, the old man said. That's right. Well, they learned enough from old loose mouth here, answering sugar sweet to every big-eyed question that little gal put to him. Yes, sir. That's the only answer. Would they know about the court's order? They're from Copper City. Everybody there knows about it. Now, wait a minute. You're just guessing you don't know. I know this. They had a lot of junk in the back of that wagon, including a rifle, a buffalo gun. Now, you explain this to me, Mr. Paladin. If you ain't got a rifle, and we ain't got a rifle, but they got a rifle, who done the shooting? Hey, what's the idea? I'm trying to prevent a possible mistake. Now, I'll accept your offer of employment, provided you make the fee $500 in gold. All right, I think you two old partners will be safe here together while I ride up and try and talk to these people. So far, nobody's been killed. Let's try and keep it that way, hmm? Anything in particular, mister? Possibly. Joe? Dad? He's been nosing around. What are you doing here, mister? That 
gun isn't really necessary. Could you point that in another direction while we talk? Please. Thank you. Now, why am I here? Because someone tried to gun down your neighbor, Browse. Fortunately for him, they missed. Browse, what's he got to do with us anyway? He thinks one of you did the shooting. If I had done any shooting, I wouldn't have missed. Well, what are you pestering us for? Browse was on his way here himself with a shotgun. I prevailed upon him to let me come instead. Well, you just prevail yourself right back to Mr. Browse. Tell him any time he wants to come looking for trouble. He's welcome. That's enough, Joe. Look, we don't want no trouble. What do you mean, coming here and questioning us anyway? Get out. Leave us alone. I'm trying to prevent trouble, not cause it. I got nothing more to say. Now, nobody's been hurt yet, and I'd like to keep it that way, but if you won't cooperate, I'll turn this over to the authorities. Attempted murder's a serious crime even out here. Well, Joe's my boy. Hot-headed like most youngsters. Got an escape in Copper City. Wounded a man. Got some money to pay back. Uh, me and Amy got him to come out here. He's a pretty poor diggings, but... We was hoping to take out enough that we could square Joe and then be... You got a rifle? We ain't got nothing to hide. Amy? Bring me Joe's rifle. It ain't here. I ain't much for fooling right now, Amy. Fetch it! I tell you, it ain't here. Where is it? I hid it. Yes, I hid it. Guns have brought Joe and me nothing but trouble ever since we've been married. So I took it and I threw it down an old mine shaft where nobody will ever find it. See? Amy! What mine shaft? I don't remember. Do you hear? I don't remember. <laughs> Mister, no matter how it looks to you, I know Joe. Dry ghosting a man just ain't his style. Styles change, even in murder. <laughs>